In this video, I'll be solving January 2019, paper 2, question 8. Part A1. Complete the table below for the function f of x is equal to 3 plus 2x minus x squared for 1 mark. Now, in order to complete this table, I will substitute the given values of x into the function f of x. So, I'll start off by writing the function f of x is equal to 3 plus 2x minus x squared. When x is equal to minus 2, f of minus 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 multiplied by minus 2 minus minus 2 squared. This is equal to 3, 2 multiplied by minus 2 is minus 4, minus minus 2 squared is positive 4. This is equal to 3. Minus 4 minus 4 is minus 8. So 3 minus 8 here is minus 5. So I'll write here f of x is minus 5 when x is 2. So we want to find here now f of 2. So I'll write the function f of x is equal to 3 plus 2x minus x squared. So substituting x is equal to 2. So this becomes here 3 plus 2 multiplied by 2 minus 2 squared. So this is equal to 3 plus 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 minus 2 squared is 4. This is equal to 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. So 3 plus 0 is 3. So I'll write here 3. Part 2. Complete the grid below to show all the points in the table on page 25 and hence draw the graph of the function f of x is equal to 3 plus 2x minus x squared for minus 2 is less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4 for 2 marks. Now CXC plotted the points given in the table already so we only need to plot the two points we just calculated. So when x is equal to minus 2 f of minus 2 is equal to minus 5. And when x is equal to 2, f of 2 is equal to 3. So here x is 2, f of 2 is equal to 3. So I will now draw the graph by connecting these points. Part 3. Using the graph on page 26, determine part A, the coordinates of the maximum point of f of x for one mark. Now on our graph here, this is our maximum point, and it's located here at 1, 4. So I'll write here, 1, 4. Part B. Determine the range of values of x for which f of x is greater than 0 for two marks. Now on our graph here, f of x is greater than 0 for values of x that are greater than minus 1 but less than minus 3. So I write the inequality here to describe the domain. So minus 1 is less than x less than 3. Part C. Determine the gradient of f of x and x is equal to 1 for 1 mark. Now, at x is equal to 1, f of x is equal to 4, which is this point, the maximum point. And to find the gradient, I will draw a tangent to the curve at the maximum point. Now, the tangent at the maximum point is a horizontal line, and the gradient of a horizontal line is always 0. So, I'll write here that gradient is equal to 0 since the gradient of a horizontal line is always zero. Part B, Mr. Thomas makes X bottles of juice and Y cakes each day. 
To supply his customers, he makes at least 20 bottles of juice and no more than 15 cakes each day. Part 1. Write two inequalities to represent this information for two marks. Now, Mr. Thomas makes at least 20 bottles of juice. So, x is greater than or equal to 20. And, he makes no more than 15 cakes. So, y is less than or equal to 15. Part 2. Each day Mr. Thomas uses $163 to make the bottles of juice and the cakes. The cost to make a bottle of juice is $3.50, while the cost to make a cake is $5.25. Write an inequality to represent this information for two marks. Now, this is an error here. It should not be an inequality, but an equation, since Mr. Thomas uses $163 each day. He is not using more or less than $163. So, I will cross this out here and write equation. And I will use the information here to write an equation to represent this information. So this will be 3.50x plus 5.25y is equal to 163. Now, for the economic students, this equation represents the production possibility frontier for Mr. Thomas, and you will see how this is applied in part 3. Part 3 show that on any given day, it is not possible for Mr. Thomas to make 50 bottles of juice and 12 cakes for one mark. So, here x is equal to 50, and y is equal to 12. Now, from B part 2, we have an equation here that describes Mr. Thomas's level of production. So I'll be using it here. So I'll write here 3.50x plus 5.25y is equal to 163. And I will substitute the values of x and y into this equation. So we have 3.50 multiplied by 50 plus 5.25 multiplied by 12. This is equal to 163. 3.50 multiplied by 50 is 175 plus 5.25 multiplied by 12 here is 63. This is equal to 163. 175 plus 63 is 238 but 238 is not equal to 163 238 is greater than 163 so this level of production exceeds mr thomas's daily expenditure of 163 dollars so it is not possible for the economic students, this level of production is beyond Mr. Thomas's production possibility frontier, so it is infeasible.